What's going on guys? I got some headquarters on grid here and uh, this is a pretty awesome gameplay just because I come from behind to win. Uh, we're down 165 to 0 when the game uh, loads up here you're going to see in theater mode. Um, and I think there was four, four or five of us, I think it was four um, that were partied up. And this is just going to show you how easy it is to come back and take over a game of headquarters even when you're getting dominated like this and you get thrown into a bullshit game. Which this should never happen. You shouldn't get thrown into a game where you're down this much. <laughs> I mean, it turned out good for us. Uh, but anyways, uh, you're probably going to see me be a little bit more aggressive just because we're losing. Uh, you're going to see me like really up on the headquarters and really pressing hard to get it and uh, defending it once we have it captured. Um, you know, usually I am at the objective all the time anyways, but uh, even more so when you're losing by this much, you really have to be so focused like... Prob there's probably not enough of our teammates here. There should be like four or five of us here trying to capture this with this big of a deficit because letting them capture in headquarters here is almost like letting them win the game. Um, but anyways, let's see. I'm going to talk a little bit about the NBA Finals. Uh, I th stand by my pick of taking the Heat, and obviously that has to be seven games now. But uh, you can't take anything away from the Mavericks. They did what they had to do. They won their... They needed to win two of three at home so that they only have to win one of these in Miami. But I just feel like they already used up their 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 win in Miami, you know. Like, Miami doesn't lose at home that much, and they already did in game two of the series. So I just have a hard time believing that that's going to happen again. And I also have a hard time believing, believing that LeBron James is going to be a no-show for, like, three or four straight games. And I know he had a triple-double, but I don't consider that, I mean, I don't know. LeBron James has his own standard, and... Just barely breaking the cusp of assists, rebounds, and uh, points doesn't really cut it in, like, the biggest game of your career, as he said. Like, he said now or never and comes out and scores two points in the fourth quarter on a layup that the Mavericks pretty much gave him So uh, when the game was already pretty much over. So, I don't know. I'm not hating on LeBron. Like, I'm his biggest, <laughs> biggest supporter here. But um, I just have a hard time believing that uh, he's gonna let that happen again and he says that all this shit doesn't bother him about what people say like but you have enough people enough fans like me that say the things I just said and then you have enough of the commentators on TV talking about how he just needs to take over a game you know eventually it'll get to him and he will have to do those things but I don't know it just feels like every game in this series is won by is not won by a team it's lost by somebody like somebody wins because the other team didn't do something that they usually do or they should have like i don't think either team has really played like extremely well you know what i mean um i don't know <laughs> i feel like the only game that any either team did what they really wanted to do was the miami heat in game two when they pretty much dominated the whole game and then blew it like you know they ended up losing the one game that they probably deserved to win um, but other than that, other than game two, I can't say, and then maybe last night, uh, or not last night, um, a couple nights ago when, uh, Dallas won game five, they deserved to win that game because they played so much better than the Heat. But the other three games of the series have been really, um, like just back and forth, back and forth and mistake, mistakes, mistakes, man. Um, and then it seems like the officials are intervening into the game way too much. Like they're calling so many fouls that aren't fouls. Um, but uh, actually me and a buddy of mine were talking about this or we would text jokes to each other about their acting like these guys these NBA players are act so much man like they barely get touched like somebody puts their forearm on their back and they just jump away like they're just getting fouled so hard <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny but uh, anyways I'm gonna talk a little bit about Call of Duty now just because uh, this is a Call of Duty video and I don't want people that don't give a shit about the NBA to have to sit through a whole commentary of me talking about basketball. So, um, I was playing a lot of Nuketown 24-7 tonight, and I ended up breaking my all-time record for kills in a game. I think I went 160 and, like, 30-something. So, not that exciting of a gameplay. If you'd want to see, you know, maybe some highlights of that game, you know, like, like kill streaks and stuff like that, um, let me know. Or even if you want to see the whole game, but... Somebody out there hated on me because it was with the FAMAS last time. I got posted 157 kill game with the FAMAS, and the guy just is like, oh, FAMAS is a pussy weapon, oh my gosh. So I kind of refrained from posting that too many uh, FAMAS videos. This is actually, I think, the second one since then, and that was been a couple months ago now. 
So uh, it's pretty much been a nice mixture of guns on this channel now, but I thought that this comeback right here was was definitely worthy of being posted, even though it is with the FAMAS. So uh, you guys can just get over that. And there's guns just as good as the FAMAS. I'm not getting into my argument ever again. Like, you know, the FAMAS is not hands down the best gun in the game. You know, there's a lot of people that prefer a lot of different guns, like the AK-47 and the Galil and... Um, even the AK-74U, some people will tell me they'd rather use that than the FAMAS. And there's some people that have told me they hate the FAMAS. So, um, I don't know. I feel like it is the best gun in the game, but there's a lot of differing opinions out there. So, I don't think that as far as, like, you know, Call of Duty history and, like, overpowered guns, I don't think the, this FAMAS and Black Ops is up there with any of those, like the M16 uh, from Call of Duty 4 or the MP40, MP40 from uh, Call... Call of Duty uh, World at War, or the UMP and stuff from uh, Modern Warfare 2, so um, I don't have a problem using the FAMAS, but I did, you know, take that guy's advice and post some different gameplay over the past couple months, but uh, uh, a lot of my gameplays that are coming up, I think, are going to be with the FAMAS, and I actually have one with the 74U that's probably going to be the next video I post. Uh, actually, I have a feeling that it's on the same exact map. But uh, you'll see a couple of the defends that I had were so crazy. Like I had like 13 or 14 defends in that game. So it's a really exciting gameplay. Uh, but what I'm really going to talk about in that video is the submachine gun class slot like six or seven months now after the game's been out. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, which ones you guys like the most. So please don't answer that in the comments of this video. <laughs> I shouldn't have even told you what I'm going to talk about. But uh, when this game first came out, you guys know the 74U was just totally the dominant gun. And then they patched it a few times. And so I'm going to kind of talk about my thoughts on which, which, which submachine guns are the best now after all these several patches. And whether I still feel like the 74U is the best one. Uh, so you can find the answers to all those questions in my next commentary. But uh, anyway, you can see here we've pretty much dominated this entire game the whole time after we... Uh, got into it i'm 35 and i think that was six right there and we're up 225 to 165 now so pretty much we know the game's over because there's only a minute and a half left but we know it would be really awesome to capture this last headquarters and finish off the 250 points uh i and for some reason now this is bringing back memories of this gameplay this has to be two or three months old and that little part right there where I laid down the claymore really made me think like it was almost like deja vu. I can actually remember playing this game now. Uh, because as you guys know, I watch my videos pretty much as I commentate them. Most of the time I don't watch them back before I, uh, before I start the commentary. Which usually ends up in me like restarting the commentary a time or two. Because I'll get carried off on something and then really see something else I want to talk about. But uh, here you see me. I was almost getting that captured and then I got killed. But, so this gameplay is wrapping up here in about the next, you know, 40-50 seconds. And uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, staying tuned this entire video. I hope that the gameplay was pretty entertaining since for most of the game I was losing. And then by the time we were leading, the game's almost over. So, and let me know if you appreciated the basketball talk or if you don't want me to talk about sports anymore. Or, and let me know who's been playing Nuketown 24-7 because double XP is awesome and getting all of those Call of Duty points is what really matters to me because uh, I'm level 50, left level 50, 15 prestige so the uh, points don't really matter to me or XP wise I just really want the Call of Duty dollars and I just found out a couple weeks ago and for anybody that doesn't know um, you, your Call of Duty dollars is 10% of all the XP you earn in the game so like your in-game XP that shows up on the scoreboard and then also all your challenges XP added up together and you take 10% of all that and that's what your Call of Duty bonus is at the end of the game. I never knew that until like three weeks ago. <laughs> so anybody that doesn't know, that's how you get that number. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later and y'all have a good day.